Bobby Lopez here, Quick Fix Golf, quickfixgolf.com, where we want you and everybody else to play better golf now. Now, I got a good one for you here. A real, real, real good one. Put on your antennas now because you're going to get some information you won't get anywhere else. I promise. At least I don't think so. <laughs> but this is really, really good. If you catch on to this, you're on your way. Now watch this. Here's one of our students, Jake Snow, great guy. He was nice enough to be willing to let us make a fool out of him. Of course, he's good at doing that all by himself. <laughs> and here's <laughs> here's what the heck was his name? Cameron Champ, that's it. Here's Cameron Champ, long ball hitter of like a year or two years ago. Where he's gone, I have no idea. I haven't seen him lately. But I want you to look at something. I want you to look right here. Whoops. You see his situation or his position, and you see Jake's over here. Jake is still a little more focused on the golf ball. Notice that right here his head is a little bit tilted back. He's looking a little more around behind the ball. His shoulders. Let me see if we can pull up a number here. We can go right from there to there. There's 16 degrees. From there to there, there's 12 degrees. May not seem like a lot to you, but... Hmm? All right. Now, yes, he's got a hybrid in his hand, and he's, and he's in the driver. Okay, we can take that into consideration. But... For this purpose, I'm going to put a line right above his head. And watch how as Jake takes the club back, he's going to go above that line. Hmm. We're over here. Cameron Champ is going to go down below the line. Look how his head is cocked over here to the right which allowed him to get his left shoulder further back behind the golf ball here Jake's shoulder is not very far back behind the golf ball but his head is so focused on looking at the stupid ball and it ain't going nowhere so now Jake goes to hit it and here's here's the good news he's getting this he's, he's finally caught on to this oh there was a little bit of a surge but not bad just a little bit but you see his head pulling up, and you see his arms are still a little bit jammed on him. Watch over here. You can see his head go down, down, doobie doo down, down, and back. And now his arms are fully extended. So he can take the full advantage of the acceleration, the angular acceleration that's going on in his golf swing when he throws the club away. And then the club pulls him to the finish. Here he's, Jake's throwing the club away and it takes him to the finish. Although he should be finishing right about here. But here's what he needs to think about more. And by the way, all you got to do is upload your video to our app. Or just email it to us at quickservice at quickfixgolf.com and we'll take a look at what you're doing. But he's got to feel, he's going to feel like his body's all the way over here and like his head is over there. For me personally, I feel like my chest is going down towards my right foot. This left shoulder is going this way. Not this way doesn't go down towards the ball. It goes back and at an angle. Hmm. Go back and look at... Cameron again. And let's put a little mark right here on the left shoulder. Let's go back, 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 back. And I'm going to bet $100 against the donut that it's going to be lower. And da 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 Mark one up for the Cuban. It goes down, not up. Down. So Jake is getting really, really close 
and it might be i'll just be doing a video in about a week it shows me see see right there look at that look how he pulled up and stood up on it don't stand up on it go that way that's where you hear these players talk about using the ground if you're going to use the ground you got to go down and then you're going to push up off the ground on the way up see watch look at his knees look at his knees look at his knees are more bent more bent and then they're going to straighten up boom right there especially that left leg watch that left leg's going to whoop. Now i'm going to show you another example perky get over here hey perky in case you don't know who perks is he won the players championship i think here we go whoops that's not perky here is perky i'm gonna put a line over his head let's see where he goes down 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 now watch his left leg up see the club pulls him to the finish he finishes up but he's going this way this way this way he's going from down to up everybody you see especially beginners getting started they're hitting down and that's why they get those what they call idiot marks all over the top of your wood I'll get one more because you're going to say, well, look, I don't know either one of these two knuckleheads. So I know you know this guy. Watch this. He's going to go down. Thank you. I rest my case. See? Look at the head go back. Arms fully extended. And this centrifugal force pulls him up to the finish. The club takes him to the finish. He doesn't go to the finish. The club pulls him there. If you let go of the club right about here, it would just go flying down the fairway like a whirly bird. The golf swing is more akin to a discus throw than it is a hitting motion in baseball. That's why I think pitchers do so well, because it's more like a throwing motion than it is a hitting motion. All right, I hope this helped you out. Remember, we're at Quick Service at QuickFixGolf.com, or you can go to QuickFixGolf.com and press on the button to download the app. I'd be happy to take a look at your swing absolutely free and see what the heck you're doing. Hope this helped you. Bobby Lopez here, signing off, QuickFixGolf.com.